So, uh, joined by Alex after our uh, very hard afternoon. Uh, Nil-nil draw against Falmouth, so third against second. Um, probably not the game we maybe thought at the outset we would have. It wasn't very free-flowing. We were cancelling each other out. Um, I guess almost, and then after that, well, we'll talk about the sending off, but it was almost like the reverse of last week where we had to play with 10 for a long period of time. So, what's your feeling about the well, how we started and how it panned out, really, I suppose? I think it started how we expected it to. Um, two sides, like you said, sounding each other out to be expected. A bit of a tactical battle with their shape against ours. And game of very few chances, really. And yeah, you're right. The turning point of the game was um, the sending off a of Cow Kingdom, which meant that we had to make it a scrappy game, really. We had to sit in and be compact and be organised and, and, and work hard to to just keep the ball in front of us, really, um, not allow them too much space and, and almost make them go down the sides of us. Because I think if they went through us, through the middle of the pitch, they, they're very strong at combining and got good combinations, good link play, little give and goes around the edge of the box. That's their danger, Falmer. So we just had to sit in and just let them go around us. And it helped um, get to half time just so we could emphasize a few key messages. And you're right, it was, um, she was on the other foot from last week, really, and we yeah. found it really difficult to break 10 men down. And that's what we, we needed to be roles of first and do that. And I thought we were outstanding. I thought we were unbelievable second half. Um, it's all because when you look at sides and you think, you know, they're a joy to watch, especially as a coach, you think of in possession stuff. But I got so much pride watching our team play without the ball. The, the information that they take on board and how disciplined we look and hard working and organised and solid to be is to the, you know, to the usual spectator, wouldn't go, they like, wouldn't notice it. But we work so hard on our out of, um, possession shape and for games like this we do a lot of training when we're overloaded when we you know play eight against 11 nine against 11 that's how we finished today we ended up with nine on the pitch because well yeah, I don't want to get into trouble by talking about the officials but he's being assessed and as every manager would know at this level when they get assessed they do things differently mm. uh, I'm not saying it was a, a really really bad refereeing performance but cards seem to get thrown about all over the place which is which is a joke it's an absolute joke really um that alex cam has made two fouls all game and got two yellows um cow kingdoms is, is it's not great it? but but when they get assessed it's everything's different it was carnage out there second half of cards flying about all over the place it's ridiculous um and it's frustrating really for managers at our level because you know when they're getting assessed it's it's different and they referee differently and but like, it's, I'm not making excuses. We dealt with the situation really well. Uh, and even with nine at the end, I was relatively comfortable, to be honest. I was relatively comfortable they weren't going to break us down. And Yeah, we didn't, we didn't look at any stage like we were going to be overwhelmed. And again, I think, I know this is a bit of a theme of some of these interviews, but the difference between the squad we have now and the way we play this year, maybe how we would have responded to that last year, it does yeah. feel different. And as you said before, we have this uh, desire to defend almost. Strong characters. And, and we have these strong characters. Mm. And that's what sees us through these these adversarial games. Yeah. And I know it wasn't a great one to watch. Um, but again, it's a it's another point. Yeah. It's the unbeaten run. It's it a clean is. sheet. Um, you know, under the circumstances, it's, that's yeah. quite a result. Today wasn't a day about being pretty. Today was just getting a point. And however, and maybe trying to nick one on the counter-attack. We had a, a couple of moments where we could have done. And we're happy to do that. And uh, that's the maturity I'm seeing in the side. And I, I may sound like I'm repeating myself in these interviews all the time, talking about how good we are out of possession and how difficult. But it's... These are the type of games where you've just got to pick a point up and move on. And yep. I think the biggest credit I think I can give us at the moment is even with 10, 9 in the end, I think Falmouth were happy with the point. I yep. think they've come here and as the game gone, they were happy to, to draw the game. And they're a good side. They're a really, really good side. I still think one of the best we've played at this level, definitely. They're, I think they're right up there. And they were happy with the point. And that says a lot to us about where we are at the moment and how teams are viewing us and how we should see ourselves. Um and yeah, we didn't want to pick it up with a top of the table clash or anything like that. It's just another game. And we're just coming up against a good opposition. Another clean sheet. So that's three in a row at home and yep. on in, in the league even. So we, we're hard to beat, and hard to play against. And we just got a result. Yep. And, and I think we deserved it in a way. I think we really worked hard and deserved it. So it's where we go from here now. We've got uh, obviously a couple of suspensions, which to a fair, I might appeal. I think you can't appeal two yellows, but you might appeal the Cal Kingdom one, but see what, what comes of that. And yeah. Um, yeah, Bridgie next Friday in, in the Cup, which I'm glad it's a Cup game. So we can sort of let loose a little bit on that one. And we're then back to league action. So um, loads of positives, loads of positives. It won't live long in the memory of spectators today, no. but 
we we will take pride from the point and the way we, we defended and organized and uh, every man to himself was outstanding today so i'm really again happy really really happy great well thanks for your comments as ever and we'll catch up with you on friday cool thank Excuse you me.